Yo, what's up boys? It's Jordan, Jordino, the one and only, the tutorial god, back with another banger, tutorial, uh oh, tutorial banger, yes sir. Alright, so today's tutorial is going to be about how to use an auto clicker in um, in uh, Rec Room VR, right? So, um, just go ahead and introduce my friend over here, his name is Big Uso, uh, I'm Big Yellow, he's Big Red, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Alright, so... A few steps that we got to do, all right, so step numero uno, step number one, all right, you have to have a PC to be able to do this, sadly, um, and you have to, as far as I know, have to use Steam uh, for Steam VR. <clears throat> so, got to have Steam, got to have, a, obviously, a VR, and I have to have a PC, all right, and also have to have uh, Rec Room downloaded on Steam. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to make sure that you guys have the right version to be able to do this. So, as far as I know, this is the only one that actually works. So what we're going to have to do is you're going to go ahead and launch, well, not launch, but <laughs> launch up Steam and go ahead and go to the library tab and, and see, you know, where it says like, uh, it says library, click it. And then um, in the little search bar, right, type in Steam VR. All right. After that, um, you know, that you found Steam VR, you must now right click it and then click properties and then go to the beta tab. After that, make sure it says Oculus underscore win seven and eight dash V one dot da, my bad fifteen dot twelve, which it'll, it'll show it somewhere. Um, after that, go ahead and click the X. I'm not sure if the version changes, the version number changes, but as far as right now, that, that that's what it is for me. <clears throat> All right. Now, if you play on Oculus or MetaQuest two, you will now uh, bring up the menu by clicking the left menu button on your controller that brings up the c menu it has like the three line like line 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 as like the three lines on your left controller all right now in the bottom right or there, there's the bar that has like the rec room and the, like the shop and stuff on the menu you will now click on the right side has a little gear icon you will click it that will bring up your settings all right after that you will uh, click the controller tab which is located right under dashboard and click manage controller bindings now where it says Oculus Touch, uh, it has like a selector kind of thing. That it, you, you'll see it. Um, you will It'll say uh, default and custom. You will slide it or click it over to custom. Now after that, it will say choose another binding or select another binding or something of that sort. You will click it, and then you will find the one that says VR Auto Clicker in the uh, key binds. So after that... After that, um, you know, th th there's a few noticeable things, like if you're watching, if, if the editor <laughs> just showed the video that I pre-recorded, um, it's all lowercase, and it in the description it has credit to Emerald, and basically, um, after you do that, um, I'll, I'll show you what you can do with some items, so such as the bow, I'll show you how to use the bow and um, with the auto clicker and just some, just some cool stuff with it. All right, so I will be back in like, Two seconds, all right. Yo, what's up, boys? It's like MTV Cribs up in here, all right. I hope you guys enjoy my little cabin. You got Uso over here. Uh, Uso, you know that there, there, there's nothing on that TV, right? He's my special little friend, all right. So we got my little trusty hunter's bow over here, right? I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. So sexy, so nice, so so bonita, which means beautiful in Spanish. I'm pretty sure. So what we're gonna do. Is as a little example, this is what your hand should look like whenever you squeeze down your trigger. If not, make sure you guys are repeating the steps that I said, or post a uh, post something in the comments saying what what's happening. All right, and you know, Big Poppy Giordini will help you. All right, so to be able to pick stuff up, you will have to use your middle finger buttons, so your grip button, right? So click your grip button on the bow and hold it down. Now you will flip the bow upside down, and well, okay, here here's a better way. So here's the bow. I'm grabbing it, I'm flipping it upside down, and now that it's upside down, I'm going to put my hand on the left side of the bow, and now I have a, hold on, I'll do it on this wall, now I have like a little minigun. Now I will switch you guys over to POV and show you how to do it with like seeing through my eyes, alright? Alright boys, so I'm going to go and pick it back up again, so I'm going to grab it, I'm going to flip it upside down, and I'm going to pull it towards me and make sure my left hand is on the left side of the bow, and I'm gonna make sure my right hand is getting this. Because if not, it's not gonna be full like that, right? It's gonna be like this. See the difference? Because if you're trying to play like Golden Trophy or something and trying to get those uh, those little red guys, 
you can't really kill stuff with that. So you have to flip it upside down, pull it towards you, make sure your hand is on the left side, and now you can do it. And now you can basically two-shot everything in about any game. All right. I'm um, not going to cut back to the main camera. Okay, guys, that basically concludes it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Me and Nusa are going to have to clean up this cabin again. He made it a mess. All right. So besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please send them in the comment section. All right. And I'll answer them ASAP because I'm kind of a loser and nobody ever texts me. So, but if you guys give me a notification, I'll look at it. I'll check the comment and I'll reply within like an hour or so. All right. All right. I love all y'all. I'll see y'all later. Jordini out.